Yo, what's up guys? Andy from TapLab here and today I'm going to show you how to set a stop loss order for Bitcoin in Cash App. Before we get into it, if you're enjoying the tutorials, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Now the first thing you'll need is to own some Bitcoin on Cash App, obviously, and they've just added a new feature which is a custom order. So this is good if you want to sell your Bitcoin at a certain price. And this works both ways if you want to sell it for less than the current price or more more than the current price. And it's really a feature that more advanced traders look for on these platforms. So more advanced traders are looking at these charts and everything and you know, they can say, oh, if Bitcoin reaches $100,000, I want to sell this amount. Or you can see Bitcoin is at like 36,500 right now. So they could set a price and say like, if Bitcoin dumps below 35,000, that's not good, so I wanna get out. So you can do either of those two things with this custom sell order. So now I'm gonna show you how to do it. You wanna tap sell. And right here, we're gonna have multiple options in this drop down menu. You can do a standard one-time order, which just means you'll market sell or whatever the price is currently, or you can do a custom sell order. So this says automatically sell Bitcoin if it reaches a price you choose. Custom sell orders can be used to limit losses if its price drops or to capture profits if it rises. So you get a little tutorial when you open this, slide this line to set a Bitcoin price that will trigger a sale. So like I said, we can scroll up here or we can scroll down here and set these prices. There's also a calculator in the top right corner. You can tap on that and type in any price that you want. So if you want 100,000, you can do that. But I'm just gonna use this slider here. It's going in $100 increments, I believe if you go into these smaller more detailed views down here on the bottom like one day or one week you can get smaller increments like twenty dollars there or if you go to the daily you can get even smaller increments let's just stick on the one year view the big picture so we could say if bitcoin you know reaches a new all-time high and you can also tap the arrows here on the left and right to bump it up a hundred dollars at a time you could say if it reaches a new all-time high at sixty-five thousand dollars, i want to sell so tap set then you can uh, tap the amount that you want to sell or you can tap the three dots and type in whatever amount you would like to sell so let's just do ten dollars on this one so i'll sell ten dollars if bitcoin hits sixty-five thousand dollars tap next you can set when you want this to expire so i'll just do a 90 day expiration tap next scan my fingerprint with custom orders for bitcoin the price you set is the price you get if your target price is reached the order will execute at that target price okay so it's going to give us our order details it's going to show the fees and all of that tap confirm your custom sell order has been set. Sell $10 of Bitcoin if the price goes up to $65,000. This order expires September 27th. Let's tap done there. Now let's go ahead and create another sell order. Tap the drop down, go to custom order. This time we'll do 30,000. Tap the blue set button. Tap the three dots. I'll type in $20. Tap next. We'll do 90 days expiration. Next, scan my fingerprint. So $20 of Bitcoin if the price goes down to 30,000. Like I said, a lot of traders look at this and they have certain points and they're like, you know, if Bitcoin drops below 30,000, that's a really bad sign. So I want to get out at that point. That's the purpose of setting an order that's lower. Let's tap confirm. Your custom sell order has been set. Sell $20 of Bitcoin if the price goes down to 30,000. This order expires September 27th, tap done. So now we've set two custom sell orders. Let's scroll down here and see if we can find these sell orders. So it'll be under activity. Let's tap view all. So at the top of your activity, you're gonna see these pending ones. Uh, this is where you can come in and see exactly what you set. You can see the details just by tapping on these. And you can also cancel these if you want from here. So let's go ahead and cancel the top one. I'm going to tap cancel. Are you sure you want to cancel the $20 custom sale of Bitcoin? Yes. Let's load this back up. So we can see that one has been canceled. You can also go to your recent activity. 
which is the tab in the bottom right corner. By the way, I saw Cash App testing out some new user interfaces, so you might have to look around for this recent tab if you're watching this video in the future. Let's tap on that recent tab. You'll see uh, that your custom orders stay here under the pending section. So you can cancel that from here as well. So let's go ahead and cancel this. All canceled. Uh, now if we go back to the Bitcoin section, we can see that all of my custom orders have been canceled there. So there we go. That's how you do it. That's how you set custom sell orders for Bitcoin within Cash App. You can sell at a higher price or you can essentially set a stop loss. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Be sure to drop a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll try and answer those. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.